Buying an external hard drive can be tricky, but you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll show you the crucial factors to consider when purchasing an external hard drive and the five common mistakes I see people make. Below the video in the description, you'll also find what I believe are the best external hard drives on the market, including my top budget pick. Just click the links to check out the products and see the current prices. This will save you a ton of time you would have spent searching and researching. To help you avoid buyer's remorse, I'm now going to show you the five mistakes you should definitely steer clear of when purchasing an external hard drive. Make sure to watch the video until the end so you don't make these errors. Mistake number one, confusing HDD with SSD. The most common mistake is not understanding the difference between an HDD, hard disk drive, and an SSD, solid state drive. HDDS are a traditional mechanical technology with a spinning disk, making them slower and more susceptible to damage if dropped. SSDs use flash memory, which makes them significantly faster, more durable, and more compact. While HDDs are much cheaper per gigabyte and great for long-term storage of large files you don't access often, an SSD is the better choice for everyday use, especially if you work with large files like videos or games. Now that you know the difference between the two main types, let's talk about the second mistake, which can leave you short on space. Mistake number two, underestimating your storage needs. Another mistake is buying a drive with just enough capacity for your current files. It's easy to fill up an external drive with photos, videos, and documents, and once it's full, you'll have to buy another one. Always think about your future needs. If you're a photographer, videographer, or even a casual user, your data will grow much faster than you anticipate. I recommend buying a drive with at least twice the capacity you think you need to ensure you have plenty of room for future backups and projects. With the right capacity in mind, let's move on to mistake number three, which involves how you connect your drive. Mistake number three, ignoring the connection. Type A common error is not paying attention to the drive's connection port and your device's capabilities. A drive with a fast port, like USB-C or Thunderbolt, is useless if your computer only has a standard USB-A port. If you have an older computer, a USB 3.0 or 3.2 drive will work just fine. However, if you have a modern computer, especially a Mac, you should look for a drive with a Thunderbolt or USB-C port for the fastest possible transfer speeds. This is crucial if you want to save time when moving large files. After you've checked your ports, you need to think about where you'll be using the drive. This leads us to mistake number four. Mistake number four, neglecting durability and portability. A mistake is buying a drive without considering how you'll use it. If you plan to carry your drive in a backpack or move it between a desktop and laptop, it's susceptible to drops and bumps. While an SSD is more durable than an HDD, a drive with a ruggedized case or an IP rating for dust and water resistance is a better choice for someone on the go. If the drive will stay on your desk, durability is less of a concern and you can focus on other features. Finally, I come to the last mistake, one that can make all the difference in protecting your valuable data. Mistake number five, forgetting about backups and security. A final mistake is underestimating the importance of a solid backup strategy and security features. An external drive is a great tool, but it should not be your only backup. I always recommend the 3 2 one backup rule. Three copies of your data on two different types of media, with one stored off-site. Additionally, look for drives that come with built-in backup software or hardware encryption to protect your sensitive files. Features like password protection and AES 256-bit encryption can prevent unauthorized access if your drive is ever lost or stolen. Those are the five most common mistakes you should avoid when buying an external hard disk. Also below the video in the description, you'll find what I believe are the best external hard drives, including my top budget pick. Just click the links to check out the products and see the current prices. This will save you a ton of time you would have spent searching and researching. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more tips. I wish you all the best with your projects and with the right external drive.